Hey everyone, Fizz here. I just wanted to show you guys something that I made. Um, it's quite over the top and pretty ridiculous, but I think it's, it's a little bit fun. So, basically what we have here is a automatic TNT kilomajig. That's what I've decided to call it. So, basically how it works is uh, it works with um, a bunch of TNT that's preloaded and uh, some pistons. So I'll just walk you through how it works and then we will uh, use Mr. Creeper down there as our first volunteer. So basically what happens is um, you can see down at the bottom here there's a couple of pressure plates and there's a current that goes into an obsidian chamber if you will. So as soon as a mob steps on that, uh, and he almost went in, as soon as a mob steps on that uh, one of those pressure plates and gets swept into the current, the signal gets transmitted um, up to the top of the uh, of the apparatus here, and uh, it sets off a chain of chain reaction basically. So you can follow the signal basically. Um, it goes across. There's a delay down there um, where those repeaters are, just to give the mob some time to get to the bottom of the uh, of the chamber. The signal comes up these steps, and then there are uh, a couple of splits that happen. So the first split happens right here. We go up. This is just to carry the current. And then we go across here. So the first um, section here with this piston basically pushes all this TNT. Over here, there is a an open gap where it ends up. And uh, so this TNT here gets pushed into this gap. And you can see that there's another piston here. So what happens is the second part of the signal which is right here, that comes up, goes around, goes to this uh, repeater, and there's a delay on this one. Uh, basically, oh, I think that spider, no, it doesn't look like he did it. Uh, it looks like he climbed over. Anyway, so this repeater basically uh, delays the signal so that the first piece of TNT, which is right there, can get pushed through. And then we come up here, and this piston pushes the TNT down. As soon as the piston pushes on the TNT, it becomes live and it basically falls into the chamber. Now, the, the third split happens over here. So we come over here, over here, and then we have a series of repeaters that basically um, delay the signal long enough so that the other two um, things can happen. This, this just basically resets everything. It has nothing to do with the actual uh, device itself, it just resets it for the next one. So the signal comes over here, it splits again, comes over here, and uh, this piston pushes this TNT into that open gap, and it just hovers there because it, it's not getting pushed down on. And then the last split over here, there's a delay which allows this TNT to get pushed across, and basically what happens is this uh, this piston pushes everything, all of this, across back to the beginning again so that it's ready for the second the second uh, use. And then all you really have to do is just fill in the gap here of the extra TNT. So I'll show you how it works now. If I can find our little friend. Where did he go? There he is. So let's get him out. Over here. Where are you going? This way. He's very eager. Okay, so basically what I do is I stand up here and I wait for them to line up and then I run across. And they run with me. So there we go. He stepped on it. He's getting swept up. The TNT is dropped. He gets blown to smithereens. And I don't know if he dropped anything, but if he does, um, basically it gets swept up into the current and it goes down. There's a little hole right there and I can basically collect anything that's dropped, just like any other uh, mob trap, uh, down at the bottom here where the current ends. So I'm going to uh, do this again, but this time instead of watching the mob, let's watch the actual apparatus. So I'm going to put the TNT I'm going to replace the TNT. So you can see everything else is exactly the way it was. 
The only one that's missing is this one right here. Okay, so let's find another victim. So I'm just luring him back here. And get him in position. There we go. So let's have him run through. There he goes. Get swept through. The TNT falls. Signal gets sent across. Pushes it through. Pushes it through. And there you have it. So that's pretty much it. And uh, I don't know if he left anything for me, but let's go find out. Yes, he did. There's some uh, beef or some steak left behind that came through. So that's pretty handy. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And uh, look forward to making some more crazy things in the future.